and Mr. Schoolboy Q found uh, Joe Button, Joe Button, Freudian <laughs> slip, uh, Joe Biden and, and Donald Trump's golf exchange during the recent presidential debate quite entertaining. For anyone who did not watch this sideshow huh. of, uh, of an event masquerading as a presidential <laughs> debate, I watched the entire thing from beginning to end, oh, that's great. and I was embarrassed <laughs> by it. Uh, there was a point near the end of the debate in which these two guys who are vying for the highest honor in the land legitimately for a brief period of time started to debate about who was better at golf. That's right. Um, it, 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 it This really happened. You know, Donald yeah. Trump accused Biden of lying about his handicap. Biden said he's more than willing to play golf with Trump so long as he's willing to carry his own bag. All, it, it, this is what that debate devolved into. And Schoolboy Q was having a laugh at this. And his reaction to uh, this particular portion of the debate is what we are going to talk about here real quick. So this says Schoolboy Q couldn't believe Donald Trump and Joe Biden's golf debate. Uh, hmm. First of all, okay, it, it, you know. All right. Like most U.S. citizens last night, which was June the 27th, last Thursday, Schoolboy Q was in tears for two reasons while watching the Joe Biden and Donald Trump CNN debate filmed in Atlanta. The first of which was due to the comically bizarre and ridiculous interactions between them, and the other owes itself to sadness over the state of our country. Specifically, Q joked about our last two commanders-in-chief comparing their golf games. And as a big fan of the sport, he's probably got a lot more to say than this. They talking about golf. I'm crying, bro. Uh, Biden ain't no six handicap dog. Trump definitely cheated during the club championship. This shit hilarious, he added. Uh, tr uh, let's see. Um, along with another tweet that responded to a fan's reply, quoting the following quote from Trump, one of two hip hop approval seeking presidential candidates in 2024. I've seen your swing. I've seen your swing. So. Schoolboy Q is not really having it. There are the tweets there where he was kind of just making a big joke of this whole thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with like the capital H's and the. I don't know what that is. What's with the capital H's in his tweet? I don't understand that. Is there? That's on, Ho a, that's on Hoover, bro. That? That's on huh? Hoover. I said that's on Hoover, bro. What the hell is Hoover? Come on, man, crip, bro. It's another, like, it's another app. No Hoover Crips, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, educate me. I <laughs> hey, I was, just guess, I was just guessing too. I don't know, but that's probably what that's it. why I, that's why I ain't gonna be at the BET Awards anytime soon. I don't know that. <laughs> uh let's see. So yeah, that just go and so it you know the debate kind of continued on between Trump and Biden talking about golfing and uh you know, we can read the rest of that article if you want. The link will be in the description of this video. So, yeah, Q made a joke about them talking about golf. I've never seen anything like that. I've seen a lot of presidential debates throughout my lifetime. I never saw them. I never saw the two presidential candidates going back and forth about their respective golf games. So uh, what did you make of Schoolboy Q's reaction to the golf exchange between these two individuals who are one of which eventually is going to be leading this country. Bro, it was literally my same reaction. I could not stop laughing. At that time, I was preparing a meal. I had some, some chicken marinating. I was already boiling the sweet potatoes. I was uh, about to start frying up that, uh, that chicken. Not frying it up, but you know what I'm saying, stove top baking it. And um, as I'm doing my marination uh, process, I'm sitting here, uh, you know, watching it or listening to it as I'm, I'm cooking. And there were several, I mean, just amazingly comedic moments that happened uh, between these two. Um, the facial expressions that Joe Biden was making throughout was priceless, bro. Uh, between that stunned look of what am I doing here? And what the hell did he just say about me was just absolutely uh, comedy gold. Um, at one point, I was like, man, this is like an SNL skit. 
But then I thought about it, I was like, this is better than an SNL. I don't, I haven't laughed this much at an SNL skit since probably like the early 2000s. So this was to me, uh, absolute comedy gold. And now this is anytime you guys watch me talk about politics here, I'm here for a good show. Now I don't, and I also mentioned that I don't think dementia is funny, but this, but the, the whole, the whole fact that they're sitting here rolling this guy out like we're idiots and saying that he's running the country is comical. People who defend this guy or wanted him back in there in office just to avoid some boogeyman, that, that's hilarious to me. And I also saw like some footage of like some older people, you know, uh, reacting during a debate. The cringe these older folks, you know, these are like older people, you know, ARP in wheelchairs and stuff like that, American stuff, but clearly they were going for Biden and um, they were just cringe. They just showed like cringe, like, Oh my God, I can't believe he said that. Or the faux pas were on point, bro. Uh, five out of five. If you ask me, I don't think anybody can faux pas harder than this guy was doing. So uh, once it devolved into handicaps and who's got the better golf score, who's got the better swing. I was like, oh, yeah, this is this is even petty than I thought. The thing was all about petty insults and petty jabs more than about facts. They would ask him a question about what color is the sky. He'll start telling me what color the ground is. They was just talking about anything they wanted and nothing about the debate. All kinds of mudslinging and no politics. My type of debate. I was rolling the entire time. So when Schoolboy Q was sitting there uh, with his laughing emojis, and by the way, I didn't even notice that the H in his uh, schoolboy Q was always capitalized. So that's always a thing that he's done. So uh, didn't know he tweeted like that, too. It's a little I don't know how he gets into the I guess he's used to it. But uh, yeah, man, I agree with him 100 uh, percent. This is uh, funny. And at the same time, because when you laugh, there's also the crying part. The back end part of this is we're absolutely roasted, bro. We are in deep <laughs> <laughs> trouble, bro. We are in deep trouble. If these are our two options, we are roasted. So, uh, what are your thoughts, man, on uh, Schoolboy Q reacting to what people are calling a debate? Me personally, I call that absolutely uh, comedy gold. But what are your thoughts about it, sir? Yeah, it says Schoolboy Q capitalizes all his H's and everything, and I'm fairly sure it's because he's from Hoover and wants to underscore his origins, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, um, you yeah, you're right. Um, I think that we should do away with the general election and just have them golf for the presidency. Oh, That's that'd be live. Yeah, hell, like they, God. they should, they should just. We should like no more, no more elect, like electoral college, popular vote, whatever. Get get rid of the ballots. Get rid of the voting. No more, no voting this year. For the first time in the history of this country, president of the United States will be decided not by a general election and majority of the electoral college votes, but by a golf game, because this whole thing is embarrassing to me. And we might as well just lean into the clown fiesta that it has become hey, man, and just have them golf and just have them go for it. I think that's a great just idea. Have them golf for it. I remember <laughs> I watched, I was watching an old episode of the TV show. Um, Everybody loves Raymond. Mm. And in the show, the, the two brothers, they're arguing back and forth because their mom is a pain in the ass. And they got onto this conversation about who's going to, Who's going to have to be burdened with taking care of the pain in the ass mom mm -hmm. when their father inevitably dies first? And so they were going back and forth, back and forth, saying, I'm not taking her. I'm not taking her. I'm not taking her. And then they settled on, let's golf for it. The loser, loser has to take her. And eventually it ended up flipping because they became guilty because they were trying to like golf to see mm -hmm. who could avoid taking care of their old mother. So they eventually flipped it to whoever wins the golf game gets her. But the point is such an important decision as who gets to take care of the mother, the matriarch of the family was trivialized down to whoever wins a golf game. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Y'all might as well trivialize this. And I am somebody who, despite being a cynical individual, still maintains that there is some pragmatism inherent in participating in the political process. Like, I am as cynical and pessimistic as it gets. And I can be quite apathetic given certain subject matter. But as apathetic as I can be, I still hold out some kind of hope that you need that you should try to be involved in some of these things because some of it is important, specifically when it comes to like local elections and the things going on in your local community. <laughs> but even me being somebody who's holding out hope that one should participate can't help but feel a sense of shame watching some of these things play out between these guys. Uh, one guy looked like he completely lost his train of thought every time a question was asked to him. And the other guy literally refused to answer any questions directly. Boy, that was literally. crazy. <laughs> literally. Like he, was, he got asked, uh, this guy, Orange Man, got asked direct questions, and he just never answered them. Refused. Never answered them. <laughs> and the amazing thing about that is despite the fact that he never answered any question, he was deemed the winner. Of this day. <laughs> <laughs> so it's embarrassing. I, I, I find it embarrassing. And if one if, if if you had to strap me to a chair mm-hmm. and ask me which you got a choice to make, you can either watch another debate or you can have the election settled with a golf game. Oh I'm gonna say bring me the golf game. I'm gonna say get my popcorn ready and let me watch the U.S. Super Senior Open Tour on one of these networks, and the winner is going to be the Commander-in-Chief. So all that goes to say I found it to be just as much of a joke as Schoolboy Q did. Yeah, man, I, that's a great idea. Um, I didn't think about that, but knowing Biden, you know what I'm saying? He's going to have, like, some remote control ball. It's going to have some crazy backspin. It's like, bro, like this man didn't put no backspin on the ball like that. <laughs> so I don't know if I want that going on either. Uh, then Trump's going to say he, he, he spiked the ball. Yeah, he cheated. You know, he's going to have his... Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was in the bunker. You know, how did he get out? You know, all this other stuff. <laughs> Uh, but look at this guy, but man, hey man, when he when Trump hit that guy with uh super predators, he said these are the same people you call super predators. Man, Biden's face, bro. Uh man, that was absolutely great. So I've actually rewatched some of it for more laughs. <laughs> so I don't know if a golf game it would be better than another debate, to be honest. So um, I can't wait to the next one. Uh this is much must see TV, man. Uh, this is, and also at the same time, America burning before our very eyes, bro. <laughs> so um, I don't know what the trajectory of this country is in the next uh, three years. It is looking outrageous right now. And um, if this is what we have to choose for, yeah, bro, it was it embarrassed the whole nation, bro. The world was laughing at us before. But man, after this, why not take everything they got? That's who they got running their country. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that boy, you don't want that. So we'll see what's going down, man. But uh, schoolboy Q, I'm with you on this one, brother. Uh, this Crazy. was absolutely great. Yeah, he he addressed this on Twitter. He said, While my H always capitalized, high power hippie Hoover, heaven and hell, aka my life. So there you go. Uh, I did not know that. Ooh. That has to be exhausting. Like every time you typing out stuff, you got to make sure that you cap the H. That's a lot of work. And it's uh, muscle memory at this point. It has to be. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. You've been doing it for long enough. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, that that we we're gonna go ahead and end it on that note, man. Just settle the whole damn thing with a golf game. Why not? I mean, what else do we have left at this point? Uh, you know, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. But there you have it. Uh excuse my technical difficulties. If you are running this video back, not on stream, but as an individual video, obviously you won't be able to tell because that's just going to get cut out. But JV wins, Dogon SS, another conscious approach video in the books. Uh, I am on Instagram at JV wins, JVWINS. 
Conscious Approach is on Instagram at Con Approach, C O N A P P R O A C H. Check us out, Facebook, check us out wherever your podcasts are available. Um, we are in the building in full effect. Thanks to everybody who has been joining us. Thanks to everybody who's been hitting that subscribe button. We certainly appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who appreciates the content that we like to put out there. Um, this is not a cult. So we are not shooting the shit on this channel because we think we are right about everything, nor do we think we are the foremost experts. Uh, this is a fair market society and it does not cost anything to get on YouTube. So we just get on here to express our opinions no more. No yeah. So uh, don't take it too personally and don't take it seriously. Otherwise, please think for yourself and uh, hopefully my Miami Heat makes some kind of uh, free agent splash because thus far it has been very quiet. Just like the last three down four years. Well, I swear. Yeah, I but uh, hey, guys. And make sure you guys like and subscribe too, by the way. And for everybody that has already liked and subscribed, as my boy JV Wynn says all the time, we greatly appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys more than you guys already know. But until the next time, guys, as I say on every pod, don't be too high. Don't be too low. Keep it calm. Keep it chill. Keep it clear. And don't let anybody get you off your pivot. Make sure you follow me over on TikTok as well. Uh, Dogon underscore SS. I'm posting videos now, man. You know what I'm saying? Memes and all, man. Look out, man. Follow your boy. You know what I'm saying? But until next time, guys, we'll catch y'all in the next one. <laughs> we out, man. Peace. <laughs> settle that thing with a settle that thing with a golf game. Might as well. <laughs> I'm gonna go to top golf. Boy. Mess around and go to top.